What's going on guys? It's Coaster Central here and today I'll be doing my top 10 coasters at Kings Island. Now Kings Island is definitely a must visit park. It's one of my favorite parks I've ever been to and my seven, second favorite park in the Cedar Fair chain. So now let's get started. At number 10 we have Back Backlot Stunt Coaster. Now this ride is very small but it packs a punch. It does, it's a little rough on that helix and the launch and the helix, and the launch is a little slow, but it's still a very fun family coaster, and you should definitely ride it when you go to Kings Island. Number nine is in Vertigo. Now, this one was a little bit of a hangbanger, uh, headbanger, but, like, it's it's pretty fun still. I mean, you it's inverted boomerang. It, it is still a little rough, but still very fun. It has those nice inversions. I love that drop backwards and forwards, and I love how the seats face forwards and backwards. So at number eight, we have the bat. Now the bat is one of my is probably my favorite suspended aerodynamics suspended coaster, and this ride is just really fun. Um, like the turns are really really uh, like curvy, I guess, and the drop is really really fun too. Um. Uh, it's a little intense, and I love that end where you go into the brakes and just go so like so sideways. So it's a really really fun family coaster. Probably one of the best family coasters at the park, maybe the best. So at number seven we have the Racer. Now this is one of the oldest coasters at the park. Uh, it's a wooden coaster. It is a little rough, but it's still very very fun. The airtime is very good actually. Not as good as some of the other park other roller coasters at this park. Now I'll show you later. But yeah, this is. It's, yeah, it is so rough. I love the, like how you race and how like you get you just like get to race the other side and see who wins. But it doesn't always race. That's one con. So yeah. So at number six we have Flight or Fear. No, this is and it, this really does remind me of like well it is the same as like the Joker and Poltergeist. And I think I like the outdoors better than the indoors like Flight or Fear, but they're still very very fun. Um, like you. It kind of just me meanders around near the end, but then like hits you with that corkscrew at the end. So, and I love the launch and all that. So it's just like super fun ride. I love how it's inside, but I wish it was outside more. But it wouldn't make sense to be outside just because of flight or fear and all that. So, yeah, it's a really fun ride. I love how it's in the dark. So at number five we have Firehawk, one of the aerodynamic no Vacoma, um, flying coasters. Now this is very. I love this ride. I really do love this ride. Um, I love how you fly and lay down on your back, and I love that loop. I just be like everywhere, like upside down. It feels like you're standing on your back, flying, and then I love to those two um twists at the end. So yeah, I'm, this is a very very fun ride. In no, in normal parks, this is probably going to be one of the best rides there. But since Kings Island such has is like a such great coaster lineup, it's gotta be a number five. So number four is Banshee. This ride does have a little bit of a rattle, but it's still very very fun. I mean, you those inversions, you you like the last um version at the end, the way you just you go through it so slow. It's just one of like maybe the best element on the whole ride. I love the drop. It it is a little rough. But I love the whole ride. It's one of my favorite being of inverts. Probably my third. But ah, this ride is just really fun. Um, so, and number three is Beast. Beast is one of my favorite wooden roller coasters in the world. Um, just because how like it goes out, and then just it's so it is rough, but it kind of makes it like for a good rough. I mean, you aren't like jerking around so much you can't stand it. So that's what I just like about it. And like you just it's a really, really long ride, it has two lift tails and you just go through the whole thing. Just glide through the whole thing just makes it a really, really fun ride. So that's why it's at number three. Now at number two is Diamondback. Diamondback is my second favorite being uh BM hyper coaster. And this it used to be it's this is just wow. The airtime is really good on this ride. It doesn't have as good airtime as some other rides, other b and Hypers, but the air, it's kind of like a hyper twister layout. So it just makes it really fun for the ride. I love the helix at the end. I love the splashdown. You kind of get no, you, you kind of get wet a little bit. But then I love the open back too, like out back slash twister. And I love the airtime. The two airtime hills at the end probably are one of the best 
air times ever. I love that drop in the back seat. And the restraints, clamshell restraints on normal BM hypers are very, very comfortable. I mean, you are stable down a little bit, but not too much. So at number one, you guessed it, it is Mystic Timbers, the new from 2017 wooden roller coaster. This thing, airtime, airtime, airtime. You are flying out of your seat. This, you're just flying out of your seat so much, so much airtime. I love the night ride, but this, this is definitely worth putting at Kings Island. I mean, you have like probably one of the best wooden coaster lineups in the whole park, and this just adds to it. I mean, it, it just really adds to it. It makes it one of probably the best wooden coaster lineup at any park. So that's why I just I just love this ride. The drop the theming is very cool. The shed was a little disappointing just because we thought there would be something like better in it, but it's, it's kind of cool a little bit. So yeah. So this ride is overall just one of my favorite wooden coasters I've ridden. Maybe one of my favorite roller coasters I've ridden. Um, probably top 15 roller coasters I've ridden. So yeah, this thing is very, very fun. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, this is Coaster Central signing off. And I'll see you guys later.